All right, 79 through 83. Which function is modeled in the table? So let's figure out how I'm changing. Well, I can see that I'm multiplying by 5. And that my starting point, all right, is actually when x is 0. So in the opposite, the, the, the opposite of multiplying by 5 is dividing by 5. So if I want to go backwards, I'm going to do 8 divided by 5, which gives me 8 fifths. So if I go back and divide by 5, this is 8 fifths. So my starting point is 8 fifths, how I start, times how I change to the x. Remember, exponential. How you start, times how you change to the x. Okay, and your starting is when x is 0. So that would be d. All right, which function has a range, remember range or y values, of being less than or equal to 3 fourths? Okay, well this right here is linear, and I know that linear always has a range of all reals, right? It's just a, it's just a line, and it always it covers all y values, so a is not my option. I see that d is also linear, I know that because x is a power of 1. Okay, so again, this is also linear. So I'm between these two, both quadratics. So this one says um, that this one says that I'm moving down three fourths. So starting here and moving down three fourths, I'm still opening up. So this, I want to know a range less than. I want a range to be all down here. It has to be less than. So this actually isn't my option, and let's check this one, okay? So this says move, oh, and three-fourths is here, so actually down here. Move up three-fourths and reflect. So looky there, my parabola is in this whole shaded region. So B would be my option. 81, a sample of a 1,000 bacteria becomes infected with a virus each day one-fourth of the bacteria sample dies due to the virus, okay? Um, one-fourth is 25% if we're not, and so that's 0 0.25 as well. A biologist studying the bacteria models the population of the bacteria with this function, okay, which makes sense because you start with this, you decay, so one minus, so one minus 0.25 gives me 0.75. So that's where this came from. And they use T instead of X. Which is the range. So again, range Y values. So if I were to graph this, it would start as a thousand and I would be decaying. So if I started here and I would de I would um, decay in the number of bacteria. So our option would be between um, zero, range of zero, and a thousand, and we're talking whole numbers, okay, um, because I cannot have, I can't go less than a thousand bacteria, I mean less than zero, I can't go negative bacteria, uh, but I, my maximum is a thousand, I can't go any more, and why do I know that? Because I'm dying, I'm not going more than a thousand. So D would be your option, between zero, and a thousand, all right, and it's a whole number. All right, 82. The graph shows the height y in meters of a rocket above sea level in terms of the time t in seconds since it was launched. The rocket landed at sea level. So what does the x-intercept represent in this situation? So an x-intercept is where it crosses the x-axis, okay? So here, and then this is time in seconds. And this is height. So what is the x-intercept? What does this point represent? Well, here's my rocket. It shoots off. It shoots off. It reaches, and then it lands, right? It's landing. So the height from which the rocket was launched, that, nope, that would be your y-intercept. So that's not it. The time it took the rocket to return to the ground, well, that seems about right, right? I left off, and then we're talking time. So the time it hit the ground. The total distance, well, time, this is not, your x is not distance, okay? The time it took the rocket to reach the highest point. Well, here's the highest point, but we're talking about this one. So B would be your option. 
83, a reading teacher records the number of pages read in an hour by each of her students. The numbers, numbers are shown below. Which summer, summary statistic is not correct? So let's use our calculators. Let's plug in um, this data. So 44, 49, 39, 43, 50, 44, 45, 49, 51. And then let's do our one bar stats and let's go find our five number summary. So men, 39, Q1, 43.5, medium, 45, Q3, 49.5, and max, 51. So let's figure out which one's not true. The minimum is 39, that's true. The lower quartile is 44. Uh, no, I got 43.5, but let's keep going. The median is 45, that's true, and the max is 51, that's true. So B would be your option.